we're going to learn how to perform server-side mutations as an authenticated user with server actions. This does require us to have Superbase Auth configured to use cookies to store sessions, so I recommend you click that card above if you haven't got that implemented yet. Now server actions are still technically in alpha, but the API is sick. So in the next video, we'll look at doing this with the more stable route handlers, but for now, let's live a little. So here I have my application that displays a list of my to-dos, and I want to add an input field between our welcome message here and my list of to-dos so that I can add a new to-do. So let's start by creating a new component called new-to-do.tsx, and this will make it much easier to re-record this video when Next.js decides to change this API. <laughs> So let's start with a basic async server component, and then let's return a form with a single input. Its name is going to be title. And then when we submit this form, we want to call some function that's gonna add our to-do. And so then we can add that above. So const add to-do, which is an async function. And in here, we want to get our title from the input. And then we want to write a new to-do to Superbase. And then finally, we want to fetch fresh data to display on the page. So we'll worry about actually implementing these steps in a second, but to make this function run on the server, all we have to do is add the string use server as the first line of our function, and then change on submit to action. And we're done, server actions are sick. So let's implement the steps in our function. So to get the title out of our input, we need to pull it out of our form data object, which is what gets passed to our server action and it's of type form data. And so we can call form data.get and pass it the string title. Then to write a new to do to Superbase, first we need a Superbase client. And so we can get that by calling the create server action client function, which comes in from our auth helpers package. And this takes our cookies function, which we can import at the top from next slash headers. And now we can await a call to Superbase. And from the to do's table, we want to insert that title. And we could chain on a dot select here to actually get back that new to do. But because this is a separate component, we'd then need to pass down a function to this component as a prop or have some way that this component can update state in its parent. But thankfully, Next.js have made it really easy to fetch fresh data by calling the revalidate path function, which comes in from next slash cache. And then this takes the path that we would like to fetch fresh data for. So in this case, that's our landing page. And that's it. We can now render our new to do component from page.tsx. And so after our welcome message here, we can render our new to do. And that comes in from dot slash new dash to do. And then this is a TypeScript error that's going to be fixed soon. But for now, we can add a comment above this saying at ts dash expect dash error. And we can add a little message saying this will be fixed in ts. And now if we go over to the browser, we'll see this error because server actions are still experimental. So we need to go over to our next.config.js and then set experimental, which is an object where we can say server actions and set this to true. Now, if we go back to our application and refresh, we'll see our beautifully styled input box. And if we type in our new to do, we can't actually see it. So if we go back over to our component and add a class name for BG gray, 800. Now I configured Tailwind when I set up this project, but that might not be the case for you. So you might need to use regular CSS. But if we have some way of setting a background color, we can now see our to-do. And if I press enter to submit that form, we'll see our new to-do appear in the list. Very cool. But as mentioned earlier, server actions are still in alpha. So if you wanna learn how to perform server-side mutations using the more stable route handlers, I recommend you check out this video right here. We implement the ability to mark a to-do as complete by listening for put requests. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.